Can we play my new favorite game? Let's do it. Could the Leafs alumni roster playing at Nathan Phillips Square today beat the current D- Detroit Red Wings? All right, let's go. I want to hear it. Who do All we right, got? Steve Dangle. Do you want so, to? as they are today at their These current guys age, guys who are going out on the ice right now at their current age, could they, oh boy, oh boy, could they beat the Detroit Red Wings? Okay. Doug Gilmore, Dave Reed, who I'm pretty sure is like I don't in know the scouting is. department or something. <laughs> Greg Hotham. Don't know who that is either. Nope. Kevin McGuire. Nope. Rick Vive. Okay, I have seen Rick Vive and Al Iafredi and Wayne Primo play. Okay, Jesse, already going bad for this alumni roster. I have played with three of the names we've mentioned. <laughs> but are they still good? That doesn't make them bad. Right. <laughs> Mike, you bad. <laughs> Mike Zygamanis is on the Sportsnet 590 The Fan morning show right now. Uh-huh. And is still in as good a shape as ever. He is actually. He's like, he's oh, jacked. you know, let me just do a morning show and I'm going to run a super just marathon. Just because you worked with some of these people doesn't mean they're bad at hockey. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Thomas Caberle, who I think is still a local. Lou Franceschetti, who once screamed at me at Road Hockey to concert, uh, Conquer Cancer. Why did he scream at you? Because I flamingoed to block a shot, and then he slashed me and said, you block it like a man! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Wendell Clark, Rick Natris, Peter Ng, uh, Tom Fergus, Dave McElwain, Dan Dau, Bob McGill, who I Big would Daddy. still not look in the eye. <laughs> Big Daddy. Ooh. Big Daddy Bob McGill. Uh, Stumpy Thomas, Shane Corson, Dmitry Moronov. And Nick Antropov, current uh, Marley skills coach. Was that Tucker's not out there? Oh, Darcy. That is a bummer. Tucker's I think he's not in out Bond there today with Scotiabank. Oh, oh he's, he's doing yeah, hometown he's doing hockey a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think he's doing. Who, who's in net? This is very key. So they have. Um, I think it's a couple Ryerson goalies who get oh, to play net. Because I was about to say Peter Ng is listed as center, yeah. and I don't think so that's they have right. He's playing out, but uh, yeah, yeah, they have a bunch of Ryerson goalies. Well, playing. Ryerson goal. Okay, so automatically. Advantage Leafs alumni. Okay. Well, no. Let's, let's take the goalies out of it. Let's say both teams get NHL goalies. Who are you picking? And these guys at their age. At their age, could they knock off the Red Wings? Leafs alumni. I'm gonna take it because they play with heart and Thank grit. You. Thank you. And okay, it depends what kind of officiating we're getting. If we're getting old school officiating, these yeah. guys will just I don't know hack the Red Wings until they no, have twice by, the amount of bones. We're playing by 80s rules. 80s rules? Yeah, there's no trapezoid. Um, Le- Leafs the, alumni. Yeah, the Leafs <laughs> alumni. The, the Red Wings will be dead by the end of the year. No, Nick, I think, Nick Antropov's going to snipe from no, the blue line? I don't think I don't think that the Red Wings are going to lose to the alumni Leafs. I do think <laughs> if you put them up against the Marlies, Ooh. the Marlies will win. No! Yep. Yeah, I do. No! Yeah. Is that so crazy? Wow. Okay, who is a better goalie? Just in general. Jonathan Bernier mm-hmm. or Casimir Kaskiswo? Bernier. Bernier, yeah. Okay, so advantage there. Okay. Do the Marlies have a player as good as Robbie Fabry? <laughs> Do the Marlies have a player as good as Tyler Bertuzzi? Um, or Anthony Mantha? Tyler Bertuzzi's a damn all-star, Adam. Somebody had to be an all-star. I mean, he's a bit of a Leo Komarov all-star. Yeah, so But he's a damn all-star. Dylan Larkin. Yeah, Dylan Larkin's a good player. Listen, no, I, I think... I think you look at um, you look at the Marlies up front. I think they're going to score. They're going to outscore them. Put it this way: if the Marlies and Red Wings played a playoff <laughs> series, the Red Wings would not sweep them. Yes, but you exactly. think the Marlies win that series? I think that's they'd have ridiculous. a pretty good shot at it. Wow, yeah. that's so disrespectful. I don't think Red Wings fans would even disagree. They'd be like, "Yeah, probably." I but, think. Do we get a better disagree. pick if they do? <laughs> <laughs> Please just give us a <laughs> Lafreniere. Yeah, I think they would disagree. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Lafreniere is going to the Habs, by the way. Does yeah. everyone know that? Yeah, we everyone know knows that. that. He's going to be a Hab. Um, did you see that he missed? I think it was fourteen games because he was at the World Juniors, and then he came back and he still leads the league in uh, points. That's so stupid. <laughs> It'd be, it's stupid that he even leads his team. He yeah. leads the league. Yeah. What's he at? Uh, What's his? Yeah, uh, I have it up. I gotta see this. The, it's when was um, the last time we had a number one pick out of Quebec? It's too bad. It's a tough league. It's too to bad gauge. Detroit won't get Lafreniere because Lafreniere is, is, is Adina in a, just as a line pairing. Oh, like, yeah, that'd be think ridiculous. about that. Oh my God. And Valino, you know, you know, I don't think are, he's played in the NHL yet. Saying he's going to Montreal because he's French. Ottawa is 50 50, man. 
They're they're fully bilingual up there. I wonder, Lafreniere, Lafreniere, Kachuk, Byfield, on account of the Sharks still suck. With what Brandis if they pick from, one two? With Brandstrom up uh, as your as your uh, right shot. You know dude. how mad I'm going to be if the Leafs are finally this good and friggin' Ottawa gets the first and second pick. Go away, <laughs> go away. This friggin' division. <laughs> Damn it. He's sitting at 73 points in 33 games. <laughs> For Ramuski. He has 40 more points the way, than games the played. Oceanic always ends up with <laughs> the, the Oceanic always ends up with these like It's unfair. Um like generational <laughs> the <laughs> the Quebecois Knights. Mm. Are they the Ramuski Knights? They should be. Yeah, they might as they well. They should be. <laughs> They're owned by the Hunters. It's okay, here's the Memorial Cup. The Ramuski <laughs> Knights, the London Knights, Mm. The Vancouver Rough Riders and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. <laughs> I like that. I like that.